Now before we move on, let's go over some of the advanced options in our tracker. So we can see that uh, we have some uh, more settings under here and our solve, we have a solve method which um, uh, this is currently set to auto detect. There's also typical, mostly flat, and tripod pan. Now uh, we see that it's currently set to typical, which, if we look at our footage, uh, we've got quite a bit of camera movement. So typical is the one we want to use. Also, uh, our scene didn't have much depth in it. We could set it to mostly flat. And this would be for uh, a shot that didn't have a lot of foreground and background like we do here. Uh, a tripod pan would be uh, for when we di didn't have a a moving camera uh, when the camera was on a tripod or uh, we weren't we just weren't moving the camera around and um, so After Effects has special special method to just keep the camera locked in place and only uh, pan, tilt, and rotate around. But uh, I I went for more of a typical method because uh, this is usually uh, better and gives uh, After Effects more perspective information to work with. So next we have our average error, which is 0.97 pixels. Uh, now this is pretty good because it's under 1, but it's still not great. Although considering that our footage is rather, uh, it's, it's handheld and rather shaky as, uh, Quite a bit of blur at some points. Uh, 0.97 isn't too bad. Now, detailed analysis. Uh, we could check this and have After Effects uh, do a more detailed tracking of our scene. However, uh, I have found that this doesn't always improve the average error sometimes um, even comes up with a larger number than this and it takes about three times as long to track and solve so we'll just leave that alone uh, now we can move into working with our text. So first thing, we will rotate this around. And let's try to line it up with our path as best we can.
and then we'll scale this down quite a bit. And we can grab our text tool and Okay, rename this after effects and wait for it to be render. All right, now we have our new geometry options, which if you don't see this, you need to go to your renderer and make sure this is set to ray trace 3D, not classic 3D. Now, uh, we'll set the bevel style to angular. Okay, and I'm going to bring down the bevel depth so it looks more like that then we can set the extrusion depth to 1 and oh. If we want to, we can change the color of our text. But I'm just going to leave it at kind of a yellowish orange color. Alright, now our light, go into top view. Oh, uh, let's go, let's first uh, check our material options for the text. Uh, put this up to something like 80. Turn down the specular intensity. Metal. And then we have our reflection intensity. So if we turn this up, After Effects will take our plate and try to make some shadows, or not re shadows, reflections. Um, Okay, so something like that. You can see that After Effects does a pretty good job of taking this clip 
and trying to uh, make it look like our 3D text object is reflecting the ground here. Okay, so back to top and here is our light and there's our text. So I'm going to move this into position. And move it up some more. Move it back over to the left. That should be getting close. Okay, so now. We do have our shadows going more of a more or less the right direction that we need them to. Right now it does look pretty horrible though. Yeah. Let's first turn uh, leave the intensity where it is for now, but split this view. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's just turn up the light. Okay, we're starting to see, you know, that the uh, there's some edge lighting here, which matches like the light on this tree here. But gonna try moving this back more. Okay, now you can tell that our shadows are a lot darker than they're supposed to be. So bring the shadow darkness down. And let's just sample the colors from this kind of bright spot that's being shadowed by the text. 
Okay, and this shadow area here. So we need to make the shadow darkness less. Okay, that's that's good there. And our shadow diffusion will make that three. And our shadow catcher, uh, we can just check that there's no specular metal. And that's all we need to do for that. Now, next thing we need to do is we're going to add a track solid. Uh, 